Hello everyone, I am The Weather Dude. Welcome back. And today we're going to be giving our first snowfall forecast for the 2024 to 2025 winter season. As you may have seen recently, I did my uh, first winter forecast, but now we're going to look at the snowfall forecast of whether you could see your first snowfall potentially earlier or later this year. So we're going to get right into it here. Be sure to stay tuned for the whole video so you don't miss any important content. And of course, do not forget to like and subscribe. So let's get right into it here. Uh, we're first going to look at the typical La Nina winter pattern because that is what is expected for this winter. So what typically happens in a La Nina winter? Well, typically we got a blocking high around here. We got a jet stream that kind of comes down like this, right? Some troughing over the Midwest and some slight ridging um, over the Southwest. So that's going to usually allow for some colder air to get into the Northern tier, right? And for the Southern and third of the United States to stay, you know, warm and dry, right? And we are starting to see uh, the effects of La Nina, right? It kind of, if you look at some of the charting, it kind of started around late August, like when it first, when the sea surface temperatures in the Nino 3-4 region, which is down here, which is determines our climatological patterns, by the way, when those sea surface, sea surface temperatures hit 0.5 degrees Celsius below average was about late August, right? So now it's the effects of it are starting to show up. And again, you can see wetter conditions across the Midwest, cold across northern tier all of that good stuff so we take a look now so this is a map of you know the places that have seen snowfall so far so if you look here you can see again parts of the northeast uh, any color as long as so basically the lightest blue is a trace to 0.1 inches so typically a first snowfall is defined by 0.1 inches or, or greater typically within like a day so if you look here so any color shade of blue that's not the lightest shade and if you're in that that means you've seen your first snowfall already so for example again the northeast uh parts of the appalachians here like eastern west virginia western north carolina northeastern minnesota some parts of northern wisconsin and of course the uh, rocky mountains of course in those higher elevations some have even seen a foot plus of snow already since september 30th so this is just a note of you know in case you may have missed it these are the places that you know have had their uh first snowfall also I should probably note parts of the Cascades as well. Now, average month of first measurable snow. So typically speaking, when do we get our first measurable snow? Uh, we're going to start off here, kind of go from earliest to latest. So in the Rocky Mountains, uh, especially, you know, from Montana down to eastern Idaho, Wyoming, toward, down towards Denver. Typically speaking, September. Again, we have already started to see that. So that certainly checks out. Uh, October, basically... Uh, also the Rockies, right? Anywhere that's a little bit lower in elevation. Also the Northern Plains. So Western Nebraska, you know, Western South Dakota, pretty much the entire state of North Dakota, uh, upper half of Minnesota, right into the UP of Michigan, as well as the, in or sorry, Northern New England. Usually October is your month. Uh, November, anywhere in the darker blues. So again, Minneapolis, Kansas City, Chicago, Pittsburgh, uh, into the Northeast, you know, even towards like Boston, as well as Central Nevada. And as, of course, maybe like Eastern Washington and Northeastern Oregon as well, all places that typically during November is when we usually see our first snowfall, right? And it also includes the panhandle of Texas, right? Some people may, you might be like, well, why does New Jersey get their snowfall later than Northern Texas? You'd be surprised because the panhandle of Texas, when those, when those, you know, polar vortex plunges come in, they can really get down there sometimes. So that's one that typically surprises a lot of people. December is typically the mid-Atlantic states. So, you know, Philadelphia, uh, Baltimore, DC, uh, Richmond, right? Uh, Louisville, Kentucky is another good example, right? Southern Missouri, OKC is another good, another good spot there, right? All these places that typically see their first snow in December. And if you're not shaded on this map, you either could see your snow maybe January, February, or not at all. So that would be like the Southeast, of course, uh, the Southwest, especially like the coast of California there, you know, Southern Arizona, of course, Las Vegas, right? So, sorry, but, you know, it is winter. I'm sure you guys aren't certainly not surprised. Doesn't mean it can happen, but typically, you know, you typically don't see snow a lot. All right, this is a bit more detailed uh, version of a map I just showed you. Uh, so, basically, again, kind of showing, again, first half of December, uh, you can see, again, Boston, uh, you know, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, you know, Indianapolis, right? Clear westbound here, right? And then we have uh, the second half of December. So, this is a little bit more of a detailed version. Again, New York, Washington usually second half of December, and of course, maybe in the Southeast, right? You know, January to February, and then it's gonna be a little bit rarer uh, the further South you go. 
Uh, so we're going to take a look at the precipitation anomalies that we typically see when we have a weak La Nina. This is another big factor as well. Uh, you can see typically in the Rocky Mountains, again, we're typically, we typically see more precipitation during a weak La Nina as well as the Midwest. Now for the uh, Rockies, again, you've had your first snow, uh, really not an issue for you. Uh, for the, you know, for the Midwest though, maybe this could help you get your first snow a little bit quicker, right? La Nina usually ushers in a more intense storm track and you know, that could allow for some more snow if the area gets cold enough and we have, you know, that increased uh, precipitation. And I should also point out that precipitation typically the southern, I would almost say half, but southern third of the U.S. is usually suppressed. So, you know, if you thought, you know, if you thought you were getting snow early, that may not happen, oh. especially in the south. Because, um, you know, it's hard enough to get snow down there. And I think La Nina is certainly not going to help with that this year. If we take a look here at the temperatures, now this will certainly help across the northern tier, right? That was colder than average temperatures, two to three degrees Celsius below average. But of course, the southeast is warmer, so that will certainly not help things too much. So we take a look here at the six to 10 day temperature outlook. So this uh, kind of helps us focus on, you know, could we get our first really big snowstorm, you know, now or in the next couple of weeks. Um, and I'm here to tell you, according to Climate Prediction Center, uh, you'll see why I show my map in the end of the video, why I think, you know, it may not go so smoothly. Pretty much the center part of the country is the highest chance of seeing those above normal temperatures from the October 26th through the 30th. So that pretty much covers the end of the month here. And that's certainly not going to help us in terms of getting our first snow because we're kind of locked in a warm pattern right now. So not really helping things out too much. Really just Alaska and like the, and Seattle basically are the only two areas where we could see cooler temperatures uh, during that, that chunk of time. 8 to 14 days, we start to see pattern change a little bit, right? West Coast gets a bit of a cool pattern as well as Alaska. But again, the middle part of the country, you know, especially in those northern parts, right? Where we're typically supposed to be seeing snow in October. This is the 28th through, the, through November 3rd now. Again, not looking like that. Now, I mean, we could get some snow in here, yes. This doesn't mean temperatures are going to be warm all the time. But that's certainly not helping that we, you know, see very high chances, actually, likely, uh, that we see those above normal temperatures. I don't think that's really going to be helping, um, helping those out too much. Uh, weeks three to four, so now we're, now we're in the first half of November, right? Again, uh, equal chances on and across the northern plains but you know the midwest because some areas in here typically can see snow in october and right, even november right so i'm not going to be helping you guys out too much there either uh southern alaska could see some cooler air again northwest us uh, particularly seattle portland right but we could see a bit more equal chances so maybe we could finally start to see you know especially for those areas further south like i was mentioning earlier that usually get their snow later yes yeah, so you can see here again you know november 15th to the 30th and you know in these regions Right, you can you can maybe get your snowfall then if there's equal chances of seeing you know either above or below average temperatures. All right, here's our winter forecast, right? Our winter temperature forecast. And you can see again slightly below average to below average temperatures, right? Of course, those darker blues mean a higher confidence, and that's going to be across the northern tier. While again, the southern part of the U.S. will be more above average, especially as we get closer to the coast, where I think it'll be further from that jet stream, and I think. We're just going to have an even higher confidence of those above normal temperatures. Uh, as for precipitation, with the La Nina, uh, the, the Ohio Valley, I'm sorry, and the northwestern United States, we could see that above average precipitation. So, of course, that will help us in our snow prospects. Uh, southern U.S., again, with that jet stream, going to be kind of, uh, let me clear this out. Typical jet stream pattern of La Nina here, kind of something like this. So that's really not going to help, right, precipitation, especially if... If the jet stream's coming in like this, and we have a storm track coming in like so, that's going to really miss the southern United States. Now, will you guys get no precipitation? No, but it certainly uh, will not help here. All right, the moment you all have been waiting for, here is the snowfall forecast. So basically, will you be seeing snow later or sooner than average? Now, do keep in mind that some of the area is not shaded, right? For example, like the Northeast, and especially Northern New England have already seen your first snow. Uh, the Rockies, you've already seen your first snow, but other areas that are shaded in white, especially particular areas in the South, could be areas that may not exactly get it. So I'll, I'll definitely explain as we go here. So kind of just breaking it down by region, the Northwest, I think it'll be about normal, especially in the mountainous regions. You've already seen your snowfall in most of these parts. Uh, for the Southwest, particularly Arizona, New Mexico, a little bit later, typically I believe we get snow here in November, 
uh, aside from the mountainous regions and the tippy tops here that may have already gotten snow like around here aside from those areas probably going to be looking at later than average later than average as well across the south again you guys don't already get a lot of snow and i think the la nina pattern is not going to be helping you guys out a lot a couple exceptions here the mountainous regions in the highest elevations of eastern west virginia western north carolina where you've already seen your first snow so that kind of represents that as well sooner than average i do believe there could be a pattern flip because these areas in blue typically get their first snow in november and i think there could be a pattern flip in this somewhat near future that could allow for some snow to get in. Maybe we get some snow here a little bit sooner than normal. But for the northern tier, because you guys are supposed to be getting snow in October, and it may not look like that, so that's why I put you guys in the later than average, because I don't think the pattern is just setting up right now. Does that mean your winter is going to be warm? No, but this just means that you might get off to a little bit of a later start than normal. Right? North Dakota, western South Dakota, and Nebraska, northeastern Colorado, eastern Wyoming, Montana, and again, northern Minnesota, northern wisconsin the up of michigan the exception there i don't know if you can see it because the text is kind of uh northeastern minnesota is a as an exception because again like i said earlier you guys have already seen uh your first snowfall there as well so i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching this snowfall forecast definitely stay tuned for more updates to snowfall and winter forecasts as well in the future i am the weather dude signing off till next time and i will catch you guys in the next video